Let's talk about threads. If you're spending any time wondering whether you should be using the popular new social media platform Threads, I have a question for you. What is your main thing? Stephen Covey famously wrote, the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. So what's your main thing? Take a moment right now to write that in the comments. The thing that makes you happiest, the thing that makes you lose track of time, the thing that makes you so pleased and proud that you spend time on it. My main thing is writing, producing and releasing music. So I try to be very careful about anything else that takes time away from those things. Now I'm obviously making a video in this moment, so you could say that that is taking away from my main thing. However, I do try to make sure that everything extra that I do at least supports the main thing if it's not the main thing itself. But back to you. When thinking about joining any new social media platform, always ask yourself this question. What do I want to use it for? We hopefully all know by now that the social media platforms get a lot more from us joining their platforms than we necessarily get from being on those platforms. And really it's the promise of something might happen, something interesting might happen. I might get this, I might meet this person. Something might happen. That's what keeps us going back. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that there are people employed purely to tweak and tweak and tweak these platforms to make them more and more addictive for us. So knowing all of these things, why would any of us want to join any of them? Well, as an artist, a musician, a music producer, a maker of videos, a sharer of stories, I have bought into this idea that sharing my work through these platforms will get me somewhere one day. Oh, I did actually make some notes for this video. Earlier today I took part in an online workshop about digital balance on the Creator Now platform and the results were pretty chilling. They asked me to make a list of all of the things in my day that I feel suck my energy. For me those things are watching Netflix, checking emails too often, scrolling on my phone, stuff like that. The next stage of the exercise is to estimate the amount of time you spend on those things in the day. Then you add those up. Then you multiply them by five or seven, depending on whether your activities are different on the weekends. Then you multiply that by 52 weeks of the year. And then you divide that either, if you want to cheat, by 24 hours or by 16 hours, which is the sort of average amount of hours we're awake in a day. My number was way too high, obviously. And that's without introducing a new social media platform into the equation. Alongside listing all the things that suck my energy, I was asked to write down things that give me energy. Things like spending time outside, taking my dogs for walks, riding my bicycle, doing crafts, things like reading, you know, stuff that gives us energy and doesn't take it away. And not to be a spoil sport, but I'm pretty certain that joining threads isn't going to be the thing that gives you the most energy in your life. Just saying. So that's why I've puffed my way up this hill to look out over the River Avon at sunset, to spend a little bit more time outside today, to enjoy this beautiful planet that we're lucky enough to live on. Because another thing that I wrote down on my list of things that give me energy is making videos. I'm making videos outside. And that's something I don't do enough and it's something I want to do more of. So thank you for giving me the excuse to come out this evening and talk to you about threads. And in answer to the question, should you join up, only you can decide. But always remember that the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing.